Welcome to Maths with Ams. We're still discussing calculus, uh, graphs in calculus, finding the equation of a cubic function. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. If you look at our sketch, you will notice that three x-intercepts are given. Now, if that is the case where the x-intercepts are given, then it is going to be, well, it's 3, so therefore it should be ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And the points are given as negative 2 and 0, negative 1 and 0, and of course, uh, 4 and 0. Those three are the x-intercept, and then of course the y-intercept is 0 and negative 8. So therefore, three different uh, x-intercepts, then you must use the form, the g of x equals to a, then you have three brackets, x minus x1 will be the first x value, x minus x2 will be the second x value, and x minus x3 will be the third. So x1 will then be the negative 2, x2 the negative 1, and x3 the, the 4. But remember, opposite signs. So the negative 2 will become x plus 2, the negative 1 becomes x plus 1, and the positive 4 becomes x negative 4. Please don't forget to write down the x values with the opposite sign. Next is now we must find the value of a. Now to find the value of a, we're going to substitute the y-intercept 0 and negative 8 into the equation. So we do that, so y is negative 8, and all three x values become 0. Simplify and divide by 8, so therefore a is 1. Then we take the 1 and substitute into the equation. Then we do that, and then next is to remove all the brackets collect your like terms, and the final answer should be g of x equals to x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this very short video on finding the equation if the three x-intercepts are given. Right, this is uh, Ahmed Suleiman of, from uh, Mathematics with Ams. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe.